Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your Days of Our Law review for November 29, 2017. Let's jump on into it, shall we? Let's start with the rock drama. Basically, we still going through the fallout of this damn commissioner job. Hope fire JJ got his job back. Basically, long story short, because I don't want to go through all this drama and word for word, pound for, even though I did write it word for word, pound for, mm -mm, I don't feel like it. So, long story short, Hope, man, Rafe got the commissioner job. She out. JJ was able to get, um, Rafe taught JJ into getting his job back. She still out of a job. Rafe, you do got an ego. Hope, you need to get over that rape. Well, not really. Got fiance, what? No, you shouldn't be mad about him going helping Sammy out when basically Will is your, Will related to you. Right, that's Ray's stepson. If you look at it, that's Ray's stepson. So, of course, he wouldn't help Sammy. You can't get over it there. He wouldn't help Sammy out in Memphis. What else they were arguing about? About the commissioner, him go helping Sammy. Ray, if you do have an ego, and Ray, if you do be asking Hope over the wall damn questions, I get her and I understand her dad. It's like you can say and ask her anything when she go to ask you these same questions. You get mad in your damn feelings. She do have points there. What else they are arguing about? Oh, yeah. Rape also told her that, look, the reason you ain't getting your job back is because Abe don't think you're going to be impartial because they're doing an investigation on your cousin or whoever, the, however the hell JJ related to you. I think cousin, I'm not for sure. He said he don't think you could be impartial. So I'm here just part-time to this investigation. No, but trust me, I don't want the job. I just took the job to stop Abe and his reign of terror before he even got started. And... You could have said no. Ray said, well, if I would have said no, somebody else would be involved in this case, investigating this case, and then I'll be sitting there, and then we'll both be sitting up here, and JJ might not get a fair trial or a fair investigation. Then we went from that to their relationship and this job going through their relationship. Ray ego. Her ego. They talk about who can do this commissioner job better. Rafe that he can do it better than Hope. Hope. I'm, I hate to see them break up, but it's for the fucking best. I mean, the whole relationship started off from fucking. Y'all didn't really have no solid foundation because y'all ran through too many bumps and curves and ran off the road and everything. I mean, yeah, I was only meant for um for a temporary, a little fix to help y'all with, to help you get over whoever you was getting over, right? I forgot who you, who to help you get over who you was getting over with. Right, Hope ain't getting up a ball, so you can forget about that when, and now that we getting in that marriage situation and fiance and all this, and it's y'all, hell, you got already y'all drama, and y'all love petty, stupid arguments, then you got this job on top of it, now you got this commissioner job on top of it, then we talking about fiance and ex-wives, and y'all should never... Y'all should have just could have stayed friends. And Rafe not going to get it while you not marrying him. I thought he got it and learned why you're never going to marry him. Or you're not going to marry him when he wants you to marry you. We thought he got it when you, when you said no the first time. I got it. I didn't understand it. But I understand it now. Ra I mean Rafe. Lord, I'm fucking up the man name, and he one of my favorite all day. He one of my favorite days of my last character. Bo is great, one true love. Ain't nobody gonna try to alter, manipulate, play, or toy with that relationship that she had with Bo. Bo is her one and only. 
Ray, if you thought you was going to replace um, Bo with you, yeah, that ain't going to happen. Basically, she um, uh, be, uh, agreed to be your fiance to get you off her goddamn bed. You didn't get no any um, explanation or inkling why y'all ain't never sought no day. Why y'all been fiance? Why she been your fiance for this long? You seriously didn't care, child. That don't matter what you gonna do. You never gonna compete, or you never gonna be up to the standards of hope and bold relationship. And basically, yeah, it ain't gonna work. And you rushing to my some marrying you, and why it took you so long and all this? You want to make a situation work? Now imagine if y'all would have went ahead and her up and got married. Think about all the drama then. Plus this job, plus this commissioner job, plus Sammy, plus Exes. See, that's even more stuff on. What y'all would have been married maybe a month if you happen, if you lucky. Hope did the right thing not rush into this marriage and agreed to wear your reign but not marry you. She did the right thing and I understand why she did it. You might not understand it right why she did what she did, but everybody else get it. Yeah, you were just a sitting in, a bench warmer basically. She wasn't gonna marry your ass. And the way him childish and insecure, you be acting in childish the way you act. I wouldn't marry your ass neither. Even if you do got big brown brown eyes, I still wouldn't marry him. But that's just my opinion. You should have known better. You best to rush that woman into getting married. Now you run in, I mean, to be your fiance. Now you sit up here wondering why she won't marry you. Because you don't reach her, because you don't... Because you can't compete with boy and you never win. That's why you're not going to get married, right? I thought you caught on. Can't help you there, buddy. Basically, that's all the rope drama. Mm, let's go ahead and get Chad and Andre no more out the way. Mm, so, basically, we get back to Andre, Kate, and Abigail. Basically... Chad keep on talking about he want Andre gone. Keep bringing up his past. I know I'm guilty of bringing up his past because I'm not really a fan of Andre. And I like to bring up his past sometimes, but not all the damn time now. Chad want him gone. He don't trust him. Every girl trying to stand up to him. Kate sitting back there crying like this shit, like she did somebody damn funeral. And I'm surprised that nobody turned around and looked at her ass and wonder why the hell she back there crying to why she back there crying. Like she back there listening to a love song or something. Like she just got over a breakup and now she listen to a sad love song up there crying. Ain't nobody looking at Kate. I wonder why the fuck she sitting back there crying and got tears in her eyes. It damn sure ain't over Andre getting kicked out this mansion. So what the fuck you crying for? So Abigail don't agree with it. Chad said he don't trust Andre. Abigail try to do what she can to uh, at least try to help Andre out. Chad... Now, we know you love Theo. We know you even care for him very much deeply. But you got to stop bringing up the fact that... That, um... You got to stop bringing up the fact that... That, um... How he always say that shit? That he the fact that... Your, cut, your brother shot Theo or your brother did... Some shit about blame, blaming... Basically blaming Abigail and Andre for his... Basically throwing shots at Abigail about the shooting of Theo. Chad, you got to stop doing that. Or y'all going to be going down the divorce court just like Rafe. Well, they ain't even must make it down the aisle yet. Talking about a divorce court. Listen to me. Listen to me telling lies. Talking about the divorce court. Chad, you better stop throwing guilt on at Abigail. It is not her fault that her brother shot that boy. It is not her fault that she defended Andre. Because right is wrong, and wrong is wrong. You need to be blaming that prepper hair here for behind you right now crying like she listened to a sad love song or something. That's who you need to be blaming. Why you sitting up here trying to throw guilt on Abigail that your brother shot the young. You need to stop doing that, 
Chad, that's not nice. I'm waiting for Abigail to cuss your ass out. You gonna do it one too many times, and Abigail gonna tell you about your man. Oh, wait, she did. Can't say that. She can't tell you about your daddy. Well, she gonna tell you about one of them then. You keep on trying, huh? Keep on pulling that button. Your brother shot Theo. That is not that girl's fault. Um... JJ was just doing the job. It was either him get shot or he, uh, Theo get shot in that moment. He thought Theo had the gun. He happened to unfortunately shoot Theo, and Theo didn't have nothing but some mechanic thing in his hand. So, Chad, th Chad, stop throwing that gift on that girl like that and stop doing that silly dumb shit. Well, you end up getting the slap to get the piss slapped out of you by Abigail. I'm waiting for the moment you thought it in her face one too many times, and she. Rat cross your damn face because you basically deserved it. Just the second time I didn't caught your ass doing that. She gonna slap the piss out you. Keep on trying that, um, Chad. It's only a matter of time before she introduce your... To, it's only a matter of time before she introduce your hand to her face. Your face... I said it wrong. It's only a matter of time before her hand introduce herself to your face. You keep on throwing that shit in her face like that. Basically, long story short, with that, Andre, I mean, I forgot. Yeah, Abigail defends Andre. Oh, yeah, he bring up his shit to talk about lying and manipulating. He tell Andre to pack his shit and get out. Andre said, fine, you want me to go, I go. Just remember one thing, I lived in this hall longer than you did. Then we get to the back end of that before he gone. He said, he told the Kate, this time it really hurts me. Really hurt me leaving this time around. And Kate said, he mentioned said some other stuff. When he said this other stuff, then he mentioned about, um... I think he asked her, did you trust me? Or some males. She said, I believe you and I trust you. She said, guys, you're not guilty. I am. That here is not fit to tell. She ain't gonna tell him. I don't know why she's setting us up like that. Like you honestly fit to come out and tell all that man that you the reason Theo got shot. Then Chad gonna kick you out the damn house. You ain't got the balls, Kate, and I don't, and I don't believe with one second you fit to do that. God, as you do that, you know Chad fit to come full range on you. And you're not fit to do that, so. And you sit back there guilty. Got Andre taking all this goddamn blame for blame you should be taking. You should be getting the wrath of Chad, not poor un innocent Andre. Andre sitting up there taking all the blunt of this drama for you. Andre sitting up here taking all this blunt of this drama. Why are you taking the heat? He fucking with Abigail in the process. And oh yeah. Andre, you get some points for me today. Not only did try did Chad try Abigail with that your brother shot Theo shit. I like the fact that Abigail said, what did you say? Cause I think she'll fit to slap the shit out of Chad ass today. You see how she looked at him like what the fuck did you say? She didn't say what the fuck. She said, what well, What did you say? Oh, she'll fit a slap chair ass today. Andre say, Abigail, 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 thank you for defending me. And she best said, she, he better had to get Abigail like that damn trend. Because I think Chad will fit to get slapped by that shit. And I wouldn't blame her. She do slap the living shit out of Chad. God, basically, you putting it, trying to put guilt on her back. When hell, that's just her brother. She wasn't in the line of fire. She ain't shoot the yo. Hell, that's just her brother. Now, how the hell you gonna blame Miss Stane for something her brother did? I guess she said, hell, y'all your brother. That's y'all bloodline. So, you take it. You take the responsibility too, I guess, huh? Mm-hmm. Chad, you better stop using that shit. Now, Abigail slapped the living shit out you. I'm gonna sit back and laugh, and I ain't gonna feel sorry for you. So, basically, we get back to the wheel, and, um, we saw a wheel yesterday. Basically, walk Lucas up. What I suspect did happen. What I suspect was going to happen, happened. Lucas woke up. Will, I mean, Lucas thought Will was a hallucination. 
He find out uh, Will touched him and said, now that I'm a hallucination, he hugged Will for a while. He said some stuff. Oh, Will said, I know you my dad, but I don't remember this. Lucas don't know the boy that lost his damn memory. He bringing up baby picture. I mean, bringing up when he was a baby. I think he said a camping trip. Trying to refresh his memory. He said, yeah, no, I don't remember none of that. And he said, I can't leave you. And he said, I can't leave you. Kate been looking for you. He said, let's call Kate before they can pull out the phone. Here come two masked men bending around the corner. Covered by the tribute of Alex and Robert or whoever Horton. They come around the band before he could even pick up the phone. They then knocked Lucas across the head, drunken ass and all, all on the damn floor, knocked down, and then snatched Lucas. Then we see Chloe, the white knight, come picking her, picking him up. Talk about some, help me, help me, somebody didn't got will. Chloe said, now nah, Lucas, I'm not playing this shit with you today. You know it and I know it. You told me out your own mouth that you drank the sea wheel. So you drinking the sea wheel, don't bring me into your shit. Especially you seeing ghosts, because I ain't got time for that shit. He said, I'm telling the truth, I'm telling the truth. He touched my phone. I hugged him. He's alive, he's alive. He said, no, he isn't alive. Lucas, I'm not doing this with you today. So basically, <laughs> um... He said, let's call the cops, let's call the cops, let's call the cops. He said, Lucas, if you call the cops, they're going to send you to jail. You and your imaginary goals. So somehow Lucas got away. He ran away. Come on, get away from me. Leave me alone. Then we see him run to Marlena house. Talk about some help, help, help. Somebody got a wheel. Help me. We already got Marlena and John up here waiting for Will to get home. Sammy dumbass that came up this elaborate elaborate print uh, elaborate print uh, mm -hmm. there we go elaborate plan to try to make we uh, remember that night he got strangled to death so this this Sammy big old ass plan try to make him remember the night he died or supposedly been dead. So you got a nutcase, we got you and your dumb ass idea, and we got you mm, reliving a night, look like the same apartment Abigail and um, Ben was standing in, the same setup, that damn red necktie, Paul Will. And when he woke up here in the room wondering who the hell this person is walking walking um walking walking beside him and he come out some I didn't told you people that I don't know who y'all is, I don't know who he is. Then pick Will up, then threw Will all over the damn floor, choking Will. However, we did get a glimpse of him that night remembering something. But still, though, Sammy, you really thought this bullshit was going to... I am so mad that you... I'm so mad that's going to kill me to cuss you out at this moment. Sammy, really? You thought it was a great idea and a grand fucking idea to make your son, because he don't remember nothing, make him relive the night that he should have been dead. And you thought that, the Lord, you lucky I don't feel like cussing your ass out tonight, Sam, because I was planning on cussing your ass out. That's why I saved your ass for last. Because I'm going to give you a piece of my goddamn mind, taking that boy through trauma like that, all over again. Because you want him to remember, and your ass too impatient to wait for him to remember your, well... You can say goodbye to Will when he do get his damn memory. Because I'm pretty sure he done with you. If he not, he better not ever. Because after that shit, I'll be done with your ass. You couldn't say nothing to me. I, but I, you couldn't say nothing to me without calling the police on your ass. Or getting a restraining order on your ass. Or knocking the fuck out your ass. Sammy, that was fucked up. I can't believe you actually went. I can't believe you actually thought it is. And you thought this shit was going to answer the word. Yo, desperate measure. 
And Marlena answered you in that phone call talking about some. Don't do nothing stupid. Don't do nothing half called. She did. She already did. Marlena, not the living shit out your daughter once you get close to her, please. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.